Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Your boy Starco Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fight the video. Guys, don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content. Show your support to the channel and make sure to enable the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when a new video is posted or a live stream is happening. So guys, uh, this video as always is going to be in two parts. First, we're going to talk about Namer coming to Marvel Future Fight. Then we're going to go with our daily roadster review. So let's get started with my boy Namer, guys. My boy Namer here. Sneak peek number five, August update. Greetings, agents. This is the CM fragment of the Marvel Future Fight team, getting helps from the King to defend the universe. Following up from my visit to the beach, per my previous report, I have obtained new information. It is recommended that I pay a visit to the King resides to the King's that reside maybe. <laughs> There resides in the depth of the sea. We might need his help to face the new threat in unlikely alliance. Honestly, personally, I always thought that Neymar was actually a super villain. So, uh, I'm mind blown. I am mind blown, guys. Okay, let's take a quick look at this little video here. Boom. Wow, we got sound. Here we go. You can see in the back here. Sierra tree on the ship, and then boom, it's over. Now, if we back up a little bit, back up a little bit, I said, damn, that's back up too much. Here we go. Sierra tree on the ship, guys, confirming that Namer is going to be the next tier 3 available in the game and if we go down here i believe that an alliance with the king is crucial in our mission i am relieved because he will provide great support again the new threat we are about to face now this could actually mean that we're gonna have to group up together to actually do something like the new giant boss red galactus to actually be able to recruit Namer. That could actually be a new way to actually bring a, a character in the game. I know that there was a rumor about it that it could be that way. So I think that it will be possible with the way they are awarding it. Like Silver Surfer, Paywall character, uh, Wave, Eric Quest character. And then we have Namer as Giant Boss Raid recruitable character. I think that will be a good way to actually bring him in the game, in my opinion, and actually give us an additional reason to actually do Giant Boss Raid other than the uh, enhancement kits uh, and, you know, the CTP that we never see pretty much. So I think that will be a very good reason for us to enjoy that revamped Giant Boss Raid, in my opinion. Anyway, that covers my boy, Neymar. Neymar is coming to Marvel Future Fight. We're going to get... Uh, tier 3 on him and for people who actually say Namer is a copy of Aquaman well it's actually the opposite guys and uh, Namer first appearance was in 1939 and Aquaman first appearance was in 1941 so once again DC copied Marvel guys DC copied Marvel once again, now uh, the next part we're gonna do, go do, do guys is the daily roster review. Now, if you want to get your roster review, it's pretty simple. You go in the description below the video. You click on the Discord link. Go on the Discord server. Go in the channel MFF roster review right here. You enter your IGN with your question, and eventually your roster will get review. Now, if you want to skip the waiting list and get one-on-one -on -one roster review within 24 hours. You can always uh, become a paid member to the channel. You can click on the join button next to the subscribe button or you can go in the description below the video and uh, check out the information about paid membership. But for people who do not want to give me a dime, well, I'm still nice to you guys and I do free roster review on a daily basis. So let's get started here. Please, 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 please. I'm not going to say all the please here. Check my ID. IGN, uh, I'm not going to say that name. <laughs> so let's take a quick look here. Very fast. I said let's take a look here. I guess my, my button press did not work here. So, cards. 
Uh, let's take a uh, look at the all cards effect here. Cooldown is fine. Ignore defense needs some help. Attack speed needs some help. That's actually pretty easy to switch. Uh, one of those three cards needs to be replaced. That's pretty simple. Let's take a quick look at those. Cooldown is good. You only got all attack. This does. This is the card. So you're going to replace this card with Punisher 19. You're going to roll a cooldown with all attack on that card. And your account is going to do a much better. Uh, this one is good. This one is good. Bonus option on this one is amazing. Uh, bonus option on this one is good. It's really this card. This card is a piece of trash with those uh, bonus options. And replacing it with Punisher 19 will fix all your stats. What on one go is going to be awesome for you. So very easy. Now if we look at tier 3 characters. Um, boom, 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 and boom. That's not bad. Let's take a look at if you have Luna or not to give the next recommendation. No Luna Snow. So my next recommendation will be to wait for the next update. I know it sucks for a recommendation, but... We don't know, maybe Namer or Mr. Fantastic can become a meta in somewhere. If not, uh, my next uh, my next choice, if I were you, will be uh, Deadpool. Uh, in my opinion, that will be the best, best move. If you don't do Luna, Deadpool will be the best move unless we get something better in the next update. Now, if we look at Tier 2 characters. Tier 2 characters missing here. Let's take a quick look. Uh, we're going to take a quick look first at characters that are support and meta for whatever. Uh, you have White Fox. White Fox is really important to get to tier 2 here. The gear, yeah, you don't have bio subs. That's why. Okay, so White Fox, target number one. You got the uniform of this guy. That's awesome. Good for wall boss ultimate event at tier 1. Um, let's go down the list here real fast. Well, as fast as we can. It looks like other than White Fox, so far you have pretty much all the meta as well. This guy is actually meta support too. Um, and if you do use, well, you probably use Luna Snow on this battle extreme speed female. Having her as lead, if you can get her to 6 star 6 mastery, is optimal. And that pretty much cover all the important characters you're missing. Uh, past that, it's really shallow lane characters. So if we go in characters, you already have 6 star 6 mastery here. Um, for shallow lane characters, we have these two. These two will be my two best move for shallow lane characters. A Z mode. But other than that, you're doing pretty decent. Fix that one card. Um, either work on Deadpool for next tier three. Wait for the update to see what's coming, and wait. I work on those two uh, support meta, which is White Fox and Euless Claw first, and you'll be doing a lot better really fast. Uh, my boy. So that covers for Mr. Please, please, please. A Starco, can you look at my roster? IGN team, infamy, just like it's spelled tanks. Okay, let's 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 take a quick look at that. At that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Cars. Well, first alliance. I highly recommend you to move to an alliance level 28 plus because if you're not 28 plus, you lose a very, very important, you know, cooldown increase, a critical damage, critical rate increase. All those bonus options you get from alliance bonus is very, very important. Being in the alliance below level 28, you are earning your account in my personal opinion. I know it's cool to actually level your own alliance or help a friend out, but... In the long run, you gotta think about yourself and how you're gonna perform in the game by yourself. Well, that's my opinion. Now, if we look at your cards here, cards effect, stats are good. You got a base, uh, basic cooldown, basic in your defense, basic attack speed. So doing very good. We're gonna take a quick look at the bonus option here. I will actually roll this card if I were you. Uh, to get all attack and energy attack as bonus option. Never equip a card like that. That does not have good bonus option. Uh, that's never a good move. But these cards need to be rerolled. The level is not important if you have a trash bonus option. Next one. This one. This one is the same thing. You need that energy attack or physical attack on it. With the attack speed, it's fine. But you need to roll the attack speed anyway with your stats. But you really need to get more offensive stats on this card. This one is bonus option. This one is total trash right now. You gotta reroll this card. Bonus option is so more important. 
so much more important than just adding a, a card level 5. This card, I look at this card, and yes, it's level 5, it looks great, but when you look at the bonus option, for me, this card is worth wiping the ass with. That's pretty much uh, the comparison, the metaphor I can uh, show you about this card. Always about bonus option. Cards is always about bonus option. So this card needs to be rerolled for offensive stats as bonus option. This card needs to be rerolled for offensive stats as bonus option. This card needs to be rerolled as offensive stats as bonus option. So your five cards, even though you have great level on them, are totally bad. Because yes, you get the good uh, base base option because you have you know three premium cards and a low key card, but you are lacking seriously on bonus option, and that is making your account so much weaker because of that. So you gotta work on that as soon as possible to reroll all those cards in good to gain an alliance level 28 plus. So it's easier for you to actually min max your stats, you cool down your defense. On your characters and if we look at your roster next tier 3 needs to be Captain Marvel then Luna so Captain Marvel Luna if we look at tier 2 missing here let's take a quick look at going down the drain here um okay 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 let's see if we're missing any metas first um since you uh get bio sub this girl should be tier two as fast as possible tier two tier two all support characters tier two uniform to mythical so you can get your ctp selector in the ant-man the wasp uh, legendary battle extreme mode um if we look at the rest the rest looks good so it's really those characters and this uniform to work on um like this uniform, there's literally no point to own this uniform if you're not gonna get it to mythical to get yourself that CTP selector for that CTP upgrade. So this is the work you gotta do on your account. You got a lot of work to get done. Um, the base is good. The base is good, but you you need to go deeper in building your cards on getting an alliance that's actually gonna boost your stats properly and in getting those support characters to tier 2 as soon as possible so that covers uh you here i don't know why i got out of there that covers my boy kevin here my boy kevin okay next we have uh hello starco your roster review are great please review my ign sure sure how much you gonna pay me man i'm joking uh, i'm a new player just started 38 to go Please look at my roster cards and give me a suggestion. I don't know much about Euro, so I haven't given uh, anyone any Euros. I have 4.4k crystal I'm saving to buy Deluxe Packs. I almost completed the, the Deadpool Epic Quest. Which Deluxe Packs should I buy first? The first Deluxe Packs, let's answer that question right away. Especially as a new player, you want to go with Invisible Woman Pack. Because you, the resources you're going to get from that pack is just amazing. This is rewards wise it is the best pack in the game you're gonna get easel boost on a daily basis helping you to actually awaken those easel to make those characters better on a daily basis you're gonna get five stars uh, easels on a regular basis four star five star and six stars obelisk on a regular basis so and a bunch of gold to that package is just the best reward especially when you start out to be able to build your account properly as fast as possible this is literally the best uh, deluxe packs possible to buy now if we go look at your account for the rest of your your stuff euro um euro is simple let's be answer the, the euro question here real fast euro and simple when you start putting euro on characters what you want to do is to attack euro for the the characters you have like if a character is physical attack you put physical attack euro if it's energy attack you put two energy attack euro per gear then after that you want to cap cooldown with your capping your defense with your then you go with min max your critical rate critical damage and attack speed and dodge if you have ctp of rage so it's really about min maxing your stat uh, there's no magical way to do euro it's really about you look at your stat sheet okay i need that i need those stats to be uh, like for example i need cooldown so i gotta min max i gotta put some cooldown euro to actually fix 
my cooldown, then you move to the next stat and you fix the next stat and all and you just do that. Every character is gonna be different, every account is gonna be different, the way they put hero on each character. It's really about min-maxing your stats based on your cards pretty much. So that answered a your question. Hopefully everybody was listening to that one because this is useful to everybody. And honestly, I will not worry about you right now. You're only level 57. Uh, wait till you start progressing, you know, deeper into World Boss Ultimate, Alan's Battle Extreme to actually even worry about you. Now, if we take a quick look at your cards here. Uh, cards needs help. The base is not bad. You got good cooldown, you got good ignore defense, attack speed is getting there. But you, first, you need to get those cards to mythical. First thing you want to get this cards to mythical. If you actually roll attack speed on it uh, and energy attack, you have the optimal cards here. Here you want to roll in your defense and all attack. This one you want to get it to mythical and keep the cooldown as possible. Uh, this one I actually recommend you to re-roll it to get all attack and cooldown on it. And this one get it up uh, and try to get at least two useful bonus options on it. And it's really about getting your cards to mythical and getting the proper bonus option to go with the uh, with what you got right now. So make sure you keep your cooldown over 26%, ignore defense around 30, attack speed around 15, and you're in business pretty easy here. You are in total good business, but the base of your cards, I can see that you did your homework because the base of your cards is a pretty solid. It's just about min-maxing your cards from that point on. Uh, if we look at your roster, uh, you do not have enough, uh, enough characters to, enough tier three, Tier 2 to actually start worrying about getting characters past level 60. Right now, your focus needs to be on getting as many Tier 2 as possible. You want to get about 15 to 20 Tier 2 before you start working on getting your first Tier 3 characters. And when you get to that point, the first Tier 3 characters is going to be Captain Marvel. Now, if we look at your Tier 2 characters that you need to be working on, uh, this one, Tier 2, this one, Tier 2, if you get Bio Sub, Tier 2, Tier 2, Tier 2, you get the uniform, is amazing. Do we have uniform? No, we forget this one. Um, if you get the Tor uniform, get him to Tier 2. Uh, if we lie, take a quick look at support characters you could be working on right now. Coulson to Tier 2 as soon as possible, uh, that's for sure. A good shell on characters, Earth, 6 star, 6 master, very important to focus on very early in the game because she will help you out a lot. If we look down here, I think we're pretty much done with what's really important for your account. So work on those characters, work a little bit on those cards, and you'll be doing a lot, lot, lot better, a lot, lot, lot faster. And like I said, Invisible Woman pack to get started with when you get 6600 crystal. And that will give you a good head start here. Now if we move to the next one, we have Ezekiel Abaddon. Damn, that's a hell of a name to say, man, for me. Uh, I am thinking about the next tier 3 being Captain America. And I should have his new uniform by the middle of August. I have to save the crystal. Just bought a Stark stash a couple days ago. I, I still got to save the CCF before I can tear it. 3M toe. Uh, I just bought all the random arc uniform Eric quest pack for White Fox. Also need my cards to be looked at. It looks like you've been watching a lot of those roster review, review video because a lot of those steps you're actually doing uh, that you're talking about in this uh, roster review request is stuff that I talk about a lot in my roster review. So you're doing a very good job with that. So we're going to take a quick look at your account here. Uh, and see what else we can actually do. And apparently, I do not have the right IGN here. Hold on, let me let me make sure I copy properly here. Uh, it looks like I I pasted properly. Maybe there's a space. Let's try that. I'm guessing this is the one because there's a space and this is a unique name uh, let's take a look at the captain america and oh uh, yes uh, looks like you're missing captain america and missing the ccf for tier 3 so it looks like that the, that's the proper account if it's not please let me know okay cards so the first thing you gotta do here is fix your cards your cards are lacking uh, seriously lacking that cooldown needs to be higher uh, attack speed a little bit higher ignore defense a little bit higher too so 
we're going to do here is going to fix that as much as possible. So this first card here, you're going to replace this card with Marvel Zombie cards. You're going to roll all attack and in your defense as bonus option. This one, you want to reroll these cards to get attack speed as you're lacking the attack speed with either physical attack, energy attack. This card, not very good. We're going to replace this card with a Secrets War 2099 limb variant. A bonus option, uh, just go with two good offensive bonus options to be honest. This card, you need to reroll these cards to get all attack as bonus option with cooldown duration. And this card need to go as soon as possible. You want to replace this card with, uh, you just got the Ragnarok uniform. So I will actually just wait to get either a Loki 1 or Loki number 2 cards and actually drop that in, in place of this card. Uh, to actually get good bonus option with those cards since you just got the Ragnarok uniform. Sorry guys, Burp came out of nowhere. Uh, if we look at your roster, so uh, next tier 3, uh, Captain America, yes with the Endgame uniform, then Captain Marvel will be your two targets here as tier 3 characters. If we look at tier 2 missing, uh, let's take a quick look, Minerva really missing at tier 2, Coulson, um, Shuri, Korat. Four characters are really important that are missing a tier two right now. If we look down here, this guy, this girl, you said you were working her. This guy at tier two, very important. This guy at tier two, this guy at tier two. I know I mentioned a bunch of uh, paywall characters, but only do one at a time if you do get bio sub. Um, this guy up to at least six star six mastery. Uh, this uniform to mythical for CTPF energy. This uniform already mythical, so make sure you get the, the legendary package from Ant-Man and the Wasp to get your CTP selector. And I think that covers pretty much all we need to cover right now. I do think, yeah, that, I think that's enough to, uh, for now. So work on those cards, work on those characters to Tier 2 uh, and then Tier 3. Uh, and then come back to me with more questions on stats done so we can actually make your account even better at that point so this one is done next one oh wait we got a more deleting to do here we got more deleting so many lines so many lines here we go here we go the last message delete okay so next we have Isaac Starco review my roster please a master of pain Master of Pain. Let's take a quick look at that, buddy. Here we go. So we're going to start with the cards. Uh, cards lacking attack speed, a liar. Your attack speed needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Uh, a good way to actually fix it is to reroll the bonus option on this one. Uh, bonus option is not very good, so you want to roll attack speed and energy attack or physical attack on this card. Then this card. I like it, but you are lacking the attack speed. Uh, yes, you need to replace this card. Sadly, uh, you're going to have to trade that because you need better bonus option. You need the in your defense up. You need the attack speed up. So you're going to replace this card with the Punisher 19 cards. You're going to roll all attack and cooldown as bonus option. Then this card, this card is doing okay, uh, I guess. You can, while dodge is good for CTP of rage, max HP is okay to survivability. It's not the best bonus option, but I guess that could be an okay card for now. If you look at that Black Panther, you got all attack critical rate. That is good. This one, all attack max HP. I guess for the rest, that will be okay. So, I basically replace this one, Punisher 19, cooldown all attack as bonus option. Replace this, uh, reroll this one to get attack speed and energy attack or physical attack on it. And your stats are going to be much, much, much better which, just with those little changes. Uh, now if we go in the characters here, uh, let's see what tier 3 we're missing. Uh, tier 3 missing is actually Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange should definitely be your next tier 3 and uh, much better with the PvE build. Unless you're only focusing on online conquests and stuff like that. He's a monster in World Boss Ultimate. So definitely worth the either CTP of Rage or CTP of Energy. If we go down to your roster, see if you're missing any good characters. Uh, Shallowland, 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 Shallowland. Uh, support characters, uh, meta. 
for PvE. Uh, taking a quick look. Oh, support for PvE too. Uh, lead for Luna Snow. Wow, she's already six star mastery. She's fine. Never mind here. I'm losing it, man. I am losing it. And for the rest, it looks pretty solid from what I can see here. Let's just scroll down to make sure I'm right. Yeah, for the rest, it looks pretty solid. So work on those cards. Work a little bit on those characters. And you'll be doing a lot, lot, lot better with your account. But you're doing pretty decent so far. Pretty decent. And that covers the last roster review for today, guys. We'll be back up tomorrow with another daily roster review video with something extra in the video as we do every day. And guys... Don't miss the second video today because we're starting a series of 14 days. We're going to be doing uh, the wall, the Alliance Battle Extreme of the day. So like before reset, we, work or we record uh, Strife and Alliance Battle Extreme for round one. And it will be posted a little bit later today. So guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully uh, this video was good for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Uh, don't forget to hit the sub and like button if, uh, if you enjoy the content. You should support to the channel. Make sure to enable the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when we post a new video or go live with a live stream. And on that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.